The Washington Post, in their infinite wisdom, is now claiming that Hillary Clinton does not have to do anything to win over Bernie Sanders supporters because she could win the general election without them. You heard that right. The person who loses to Donald Trump in multiple polls doesn't need her own base to win. Interesting. Okay, so the article is titled, Primary Wins Show Hillary Clinton Needs the Left Less Than Pro-Sanders Liberals Think, with the subtitle, The Scope and Scale of Hillary Clinton's Victories Last Night Ameliorates Much of the Pressure That She Has Been Under to Pander to Bernie Sanders and His Supporters. Yes, because thank God she doesn't have to pander to people who are literally part of her constituency. I mean, what do you think this is, a democracy? <laughs> <laughs> you think the Democratic nominee should actually represent liberals? Psh, you're crazy. So anyways, they argue the Democratic coalition will ultimately unify behind Clinton as long as she pays a modicum of respect to Sanders, which she will because the liberal base does not want Donald Trump to become president and Clinton benefits enormously from growing concerns among independent voters about the presumptive Republican nominee. Now, the reason why the author contends that Hillary Clinton doesn't actually need liberals to win is because the growing number of Republican defections from Trump show that this will not be as much of a base election as the last several presidential contests. If Clinton can win over independents and center-right Republicans who are alarmed by Trump, she will win the presidency. Clinton has surmised that the easiest path to victory in this environment is turning the election into a referendum on Trump. The campaign today launching a Republicans Against Trump initiative aimed at making inroads. If only Hillary Clinton cared about getting the votes of progressives as much as she cared about getting the votes of Republicans, maybe she wouldn't be losing to Donald Trump in so many polls. Here's what this genius doesn't understand. About 25 to 33 percent of Bernie Sanders supporters say that they will not support Hillary Clinton in a general election. So it is the case that many, many Bernie Sanders supporters will fall in line. But let me tell you this. Let me break it down for you. This is going to be a harsh pill to swallow. Even if a fraction of that 25 to 33% refuse to coalesce behind Clinton, guess what happens? Donald Trump becomes our next president. So if you think that she doesn't need progressives, <laughs> you're in for a rude awakening come November, man. Now he continues, a visceral loathing for Trump will almost certainly keep the rising American electorate from staying on the sidelines as well. Young progressives may not like Hillary, but it's hard to imagine that most will not fall in line once the election becomes a clear head-to-head -head choice. So, of course, they're using the same tricks that we've seen since the beginning of this election. They're trying to use the Republican boogeyman trick, and, oh, Trump is so scary against us, as though we're little kids. Stop it. It's incredibly condescending. I can judge who's scary and who's not scary. Yes, I believe that Donald Trump is a bad candidate. He's a buffoon. He's an idiot. He's dangerous. But do you want to know who else is dangerous? Hillary Clinton. Now, even though she's dangerous to a lesser extent than Donald Trump, that doesn't make her not dangerous. How many wars will she start? Will the economy crash because she refuses to reinstate Glass-Steagall and actually break up the big banks? That's dangerous right there. And it's also scary to me that the Democratic Party would take a complete 180 when it comes to money and politics because in 2012, they were railing against Mitt Romney because they were saying that he was too close to special interests. He was giving these closed private speeches to these big billionaire donors and Hillary Clinton does it, but it's okay now. Shh, be quiet, don't say anything because Trump is scary. Uh, yeah, that's true, but Hillary Clinton is scary as well, so the boogeyman tactic doesn't work. It typically doesn't work on children, and it's certainly not going to work on adults as well. See, uh, I know that Bernie Sanders' base is pretty young, we're millennials, but we're not toddlers. Now, finally, he contends that Hillary Clinton's victories have been so large that she really doesn't have to offer us much. I mean, she doesn't even have to pick a VP from the Elizabeth Warren wing of the Democratic Party at all. She barely has to give us anything. In fact, the only thing that really Clinton would need to do is uh, she'll still need to make minor concessions to Sanders, such as in the party's platform. The Sanders wing wants new language on issues like trade, fracking, Social Security, and Citizens United. Those are relatively easy, non-binding gives. Oh, so you're saying that the Democratic Party can say, all right, well, we'll give you these concessions, and then they can turn on us later? <laughs> and you wonder why we don't want to fall in line? Well, that's why we won't fall in line, because we know that even if the, the party does concede to many of Bernie Sanders' demands, well, they're just going to screw us over later. The Democratic Party, they betrayed us in the past, so obviously we're not dumb. We know that they're going to do it again, so that's why we won't fall in line. Now, he also claims that Clinton has to pay uh, personal respect to Bernie Sanders, and that's going to help us swing over to her side. I don't give a shit if she pays respect to Bernie Sanders. She's been incredibly rude to him this entire time, but I don't support people 
based on who they are or what they do. I support them based on their policy positions. Hillary Clinton could literally donate every single dollar that she's taken from Goldman Sachs to charity, and that still would not influence me to vote for her unless I had a good reason to believe that she would, one, change her policy positions and actually be truthful about it and actually not betray us later on. We don't trust Hillary Clinton. Hence the reason why we are Bernie Sanders supporters. So you can try to convince yourself of the fact that Hillary Clinton doesn't need us, but you're damn right she needs us. So if you want to actually test that theory, then please have at it. Continue to be assholes to Bernie Sanders supporters. Continue to be condescending. And Hillary Clinton is already doing a phenomenal job at that. So you may very well actually see whether or not your uh, theory has any weight. But I'm going to suspect that Hillary Clinton actually needs 45 to 50 percent of her base to win that's just me maybe i'm crazy but who would have thought that hmm a candidate needs their core base to win a general election i mean somebody is getting paid to write this